Now that they are free from school, recent graduates may be looking for a new set of wheels as they head down the road to their future. This morning, we're joined by Joe Pimentel, General Manager, New Country BMW, to talk a little bit about what young drivers and their parents should consider when it comes to buying a used car. This is so important, right? Yes, yes it is. Yes, Talk it is. to us about the first steps. When, you're, when you get out there, kids are going to say, want to say, I want this one, I want it now. Well, look, the first steps are, uh, it's going to be they're going to get online uh, and try and find a car that they like. My recommendation is once you find the car that you like, uh, you have to do a few things. First, if you can, buy from a reputable dealership, mm -hmm. someone that's been established. Uh, get a history about that car. Um, do a Carfax. We provide Carfaxes. Um, if you don't have a Carfax, then take it to a mechanic, someone that you trust. You know, make sure that the car is sound. Um, go look at the car. Mm -hmm. Listen to it. Get underneath the hood. Uh, you know, just see what the condition is like. Um, and uh, but primarily, just make sure that uh, it's a sound car for you. And when you go out to look at the car, because say the parents don't really know a lot about cars, so mm -hmm. they may be listening, and it may sound good for a day or two. So you can you drive it off and take it somewhere to have it looked, or is, is yeah, that's what I recommend. Like I said, if you buy from a reputable dealership, you in most cases that's already taken care of. But if not, take it to a mechanic that you trust. Uh, make sure you take it for a test drive. And have someone look at that car and make sure all of the safety features have been addressed. And let's uh, talk about those safety features. Which ones do you recommend, especially for these, these young kids? Well, uh, there's a lot of new things coming out. Uh, but, I mean, you want, uh, if you can, get uh, um, blind spot uh, detec detection. Uh, you want, uh, in this area, we want all-wheel drive, traction controls uh, as a must, and backup cameras. Okay. Uh, all of that's uh, very good for safety. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that loan. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know that's, yes. that's the, the important thing parents need to know about too, right? Well, the, I mean, there's a lot of uh, options out there, and their banks are very competitive. Uh, for instance, in our case, with BMW and Mini, we have as low as 0% interest rate right now, and in some cases, uh, uh, 0.9. So um, just, you know, stay informed. Yeah, well, and if the, the kid is going to be taking over these payments, supposed to be, <laughs> you want to make sure it's in the range that they can afford. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, Look, everyone's different. Uh, my recommendation is starts with something that you you really can afford. Start slow. You don't want to put yourself in a position where that's going to affect your credit uh, for the future. Okay. I mean, you're starting off now. Do the right thing. Stay within budget. Uh, don't don't bite more than you can chew. That's right. You guys are also you have an incentive going on right now. This is what uh, all this backpack and, and and notepads here. You want it to to collect some materials for students. Talk to me about yes, that. Yes, this is our fourth year that we're doing it. It is called Stuff the Mini to the Max, and it's about school supplies, and we're asking folks to please uh, donate supplies, school supplies for the kids, notebooks, backpacks for boys and girls, uh, crayons and, and pencils, and uh, we're collecting at the dealership, and we're also collecting at four locations, Staples, uh, the one in West Hartford, Glastonbury, Newington, and Vernon. Uh, and it's it's been a great event for the past four years, uh, past three years, and this is our fourth. And uh, I, I hope you you know as many people as possible can donate for these kids from the uh, Hartford School uh, Public Schools. Yeah, giving back to a good cause. Yes. Thank you so much, Joe Pimentel. And if you missed any of this information or you need a recap, we're going to post it on our website, wtnh.com. Just go to the on-air tab, pull down the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.